we'll Actually, just, we'll I'll tap you right here. And then, and then you tap Tyler. Telephone. Yeah. And then he jerks me off. Yes. Yeah. And then we're exactly. <laughs> so they got lots of communication there. I got the timer uh, ready. It's uh, like, what a minute, but Brian, you wanted to jerk me off. It's just like, uh, uh. uh oh, oh, God. God. <laughs> telephone. I, I don't Someone, know what to do. Someone's got the quickest hands in the West. Which is basically like. What are you drinking? High noon. <laughs> Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to episode five of Around the Cauldron. The this is episode six. Is right? it six? God yeah. damn. All right, we're going to restart. <laughs> okay. I just told you. I Three, forgot. Two, one. You know, I just keep forgetting because uh, you're drinking all those high noons right there and you keep thinking you're McCree. Just pew, 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 pew. Greetings, everyone. Welcome back to. Hey, episode... Matthew Mercer is a god, by the way. He is. Episode six, Cauldron of Weird. Um, thank you for listening. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is going to be uh, a lot of fun. I, I hope you guys have uh, have uh, watched our past videos. Um, there's been some good ones. There's been some, ooh, dark. Really dark, dicey ones right there. But uh, we have a lot of fun. So I am Chris. I will be the, uh, the host of Around the Cauldron. And this is my um, finger. Finger gun pointing, finger banging McCree. <laughs> High noon, Tyler. Hi. Uh, and then I've got my uh, I've got my uh, Celtic, Celtic, and everything green, <laughs> Corey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> and then I've oh got everything is depressing <laughs> except for the <laughs> everything is depressing. Truly depressing. But I tr oh that's <laughs> great. Truly depressing, Bryant. <laughs> That's it's hilarious. it's me. I'm not gonna lie. Yep. <laughs> Everything's everything Rudy is awful. Rudy Tootie and, and everything for fruity those, Brian. For those watching, yeah. I'm on the hoops. Is it Celtic or Celtic? Celtic. Okay. Celtic. Apparently, I try to read it like there, and sometimes they're like, it can be. So there you go. If you go past tense, yeah. If you go past tense of heritage, it's Celtic. Okay. If you're going to soccer team present tense, it's Celtic. Or Boston Celtic. I just farted, by the way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Great. Okay. Whoa. Easy there, Bruce. Okay. So I guess <laughs> what we're gonna do is uh, let's get into our segment, uh, freaking and geeking. So this is gonna be the segment where we talk about um, things that are happening, uh, either like gaming or uh, any any geek culture stuff, right there. And then freaking about. It could be good things. It could be bad things. Kind of whatever you're worried about. So. Let me get on to my thing. Right. Geeking. First thing right here. Guy has been leveling up his character in World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft Classic with his phone. He's yep. 100 miles away from his PC using his phone. What a time to be alive <laughs> when like MMOs were just first coming out and a guy can now do it from his phone in like 4K. Because when WoW Classic came out, that was the race. It wasn't like, oh, look at all the things that we loved about vanilla WoW. It was... Who's the first to sixty? And this guy's doing it with his phone. It was kind of impressive, right? There. Oh, it's it's insane. Especially, especially now that we're so more connected, even from the what was what is it like six, fifteen, sixteen years or whatever since fifteen. It's been, been fifteen, 15 years, years since that, vanilla WoW. That we can now almost to a minute know who reached that achievement first is just baffling to me. Because usually it'd be like legends, like dude, you're not gonna believe this. I saw a level sixty character. What? What a nerd! You know. <laughs> and they rip. It's on almost you. like he had no life. Almost. Um, I guess what I'm kind of kind of freaking about. Um, oh man, I dude, I th there's so much things that I kind of see. Um, it would probably have to be. Uh, I, I came across something really interesting. We all know baby metal, right? Yeah. Duh. Them. Okay. No baby talking metal. About the cyborg one. The fucking cyborg one. Yeah. Absolutely, dude. I seen it. Uh, so what are, what are they called? Uh, uh, oh god, I had it right here. Anyways, so yeah, there's like a giant cyborg that goes with them, and the guy just like shreds, but. Um, yeah. That kawaii yeah. metal, you know, the cute yeah. metal right there. Yeah. I mean, it's so it's been so popular, and then now we're getting cyborgs in it. Nice, but I, I just find that was the next logical step. Proto mend it, it first. Well, so I, I guess I guess the point is like they're trying to differentiate themselves, you know, yeah. from from you know, because baby metal pretty much has a, I would almost say a monopoly on the genre. Listen, right, but none of them are lady baby. <laughs> God damn it! You could still do that too. Gosh no, no, darn no, no, it! No, no, sorry, no. sorry, sorry. There's the first bleep. No, lady We're baby well past that, dude. Yep. No, Lady Three Baby already exists. Oh. It's just, it's kind of the same concept, except they have a dude dressed up in a skirt and Oh, that's tails. right. You showed me that. Yeah, it was it's terrifying. Hilarious. Yeah. It's hilarious. So, that's what I'm kind of going on. So, Tyler. Oh. Down the line. All right. Um, I have a couple of things. Mm -hmm. First off, um, I watched all of Carnival Row on Amazon. Great Iron show. Bunny was uh, what they were called, by the way. So, Iron Bunny. Uh, Okay, because I was very hesitant. I, I I had the approach of this is going to be really good or it's going to be absolute garbage. I start. It was either that or the Dark Crystal Age of Resistance. I started Dark Crystal. Dude, Dark Crystal was good. And I got ten minutes in, and I was like, "This seems really good, but let me give Carnival Row about ten minutes, and then I'll, uh, I'll flip a coin." And instead of giving it ten minutes, I just watched the whole episode. <laughs> of course, fair it enough. It was uh, 
it's the I tell you what, every time you think that something is CGI, like a creature effect, they, it's they, not. They pull it's you all practical. Okay. All the do all the all the goat guys horns. John and Carpenter stuff would be proud. On their faces, it's <sighs> all practical. And it looks, don't don't go near that. It looks great. Yeah, let's not talk about that. Uh, so that was good. Uh, what? I was just talking about I'm a little, the thing. I'm a little. Uh, I'm a little late to the game. I just. I blew through all of Nightfall. Okay. In three days. So. Well, uh, you're unemployed, so yeah, that's, that, that's not really much easy. of a milestone. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you did. But it. Uh, I, wa- I watched all of that. Talking so, to Mike, bud, right there. So he can hear you. Watching Mark Hamill do all of his crazy nonsense. Dude, I love me good Mark Hamill. It's good. He's and, gonna uh, be in the animated Vox Machina series. I heard it's true. It's gonna be kind and, of interesting. Uh, lastly, I started a new book series. Ooh, yeah. Tyler. Oh, did you Tyler's finish The Witcher? Corner. Yeah, I'm done with The Witcher. Okay. So what'd yeah. you start now? I started the um. I started the Winter King. The Winter oh. King. Is that a World of Warcraft thing? Oh, King no. Arthur trilogy. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. Yeah. I was thinking yeah. the Lich King. The Once you know, and Future King. Yeah. Ah. Real good, super violent. I'll give you. I'll give you just a taste. Seems to be a trend. Just of just the books a, that you like to read. Just a small really, taste. no murder really? mysteries. Really? Just all murders. Just, just a small <laughs> taste. Um, so this lady, uh, we we I won't get into spoiler territory. We'll just call her lady. Lady. Okay. She's waiting for her husband to come home. As one Husband's does. Husband's been at war. As one does. He comes home. Yep. And immediately shoves his sword down her throat. Hell yeah. I think there's supposed to be a sexual pun right there. No. Oh, no. He told her to kiss the blade, and then he put it all the way down. Holy crap. <laughs> and then they, they described it as... Her Wait a minute. I thought this was a murder mystery. <laughs> it turned into an erotica real quick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it described her as uh, not being people able to stand you. up after that. So her body just crumpled. Hell, yeah. And I was That's like, how you know it's cool. good. Hmm. Okay. Corey. <laughs> what are you Stop. <laughs> Corey. I'm, I'm trying to segue, man. I love these I'm podcasts because I have this pent up energy. It could be sexual in nature, but I don't know. In like three weeks. Three weeks. Three weeks, yeah. So and then I got to get lost, it out somehow. We lost three weeks of material. Yeah, joke's on you. It was longer than that. But hey, what can you do? Five. Yeah, it was like six hours worth of content we lost. So some of the stuff I was in. Yeah. Yes. Wow, yeah. you yeah, dropped we, the ball, We Nick. desperately needed to record today. Yeah, anyway, no crap. So what Good am I geeking it. and geeking about? Um, geeking, I have been geeking for a week now that Tyler and I went and saw It Chapter 2 on opening night. Oh, my God, dude. I oh, I loved it. it so much. We did. I loved Look, the ending's so explained. Much. Look at that. We can yeah, see yeah, it on yeah. right now. Um, so go, 17 minutes, better I'll than Tim two. Curry <laughs> It? Or do you think it kind of it's a nice reimagining? Look, it's not scary. It's, it's not scary. jump scares. It's, it's, it's 2019. It's, not it's mostly scary. jump scares. I was but not at any point thinking this is terrifying. It's creepy, but it's it, not scary. It, it but does, see, I like it creepy. It does put you on edge a lot. Okay, so well, it, it put him on edge. He was he was edging hardcore it, it, over there. Look look at the man. Come on. Um, thank you. Anyway, <laughs> no, I loved it. I really really enjoyed it. I thought it was a fitting end. And based on what your your question, Brian. Um, Based on the limitations of what they had back then, of course it's going to be better. I I think this is but, so much better. Granted, I think as a character, they definitely went into Pennywise way more, way deeper at, in the in the older ones. So. Okay. Yeah, it, the other one has more character development for the for Pennywise. Okay. Has anyone seen the TV series of it? Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Yeah. Sorry, I was totally blanking about Iron Bunny and Cyborg. Sorry, I was. Bef- <laughs> Okay, well, Tim Curry I, was the TV yeah, series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. Yeah, but also, also everyone the, says it's not the better of, of them. Everyone seems to really like the movies. I guess that's the point that I was trying to make. Also, but the I Tim, the Tim, Car- the Tim Curry, 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 and Sorry. Tim Curry's brother. Thank you, Jim Curry's. Yeah. His no, bit. technically it's Tim Curry because he's had a stroke, so he can't pronounce. Oh his own my stuff. god! Oh. Come on, I like Tim Curry. <laughs> Sorry, I, I'm trying to take away the heat <laughs> from Chris because we're. Like eight and a half yeah. minutes into this episode, he's already just crapped upon everything. Joke's on you. I was going to make a stroke joke, so there you go. <laughs> okay. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Anyway, his bits where he's torturing the kids, I think are far better. Okay. 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 Yeah, he definitely uh, screws with them way more. Although the one scene with the old lady. Oh, the old yeah, lady. The old lady part, part where they like cut it off in oh, the, trailer the trailer right before, and you're like, "Where is this going?" Yeah, it gets weird. It gets it weird. It gets weird. Okay. It gets, fair enough. So, all right. 
Um, what, so what am I freaking about now that I've lost my entire train of thought? Sorry, that um, Tim Curry joke. Oh, just... freaking, freaking. It's good freaking, though. I am so excited that both My Hero Academia and Rick and Morty are coming this fall. I am i can't wait. I cannot wait. Next He's shaking. Month. You won't see this. Yeah, month. I was about to say, isn't that like in a month or something like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. month. And so to me, it's, month, a month so to me, it's going to feel like three days because I'm working so much. A month, a month <laughs> well, from yesterday. Your your company has has officially screwed you over. So that, that's, that's my butt hurts. Yeah, I bet <laughs> they they they, they <laughs> didn't even like, let you have the bro job butt plug. They just said, "Open up, Abigail May. Here comes the gravy pipe." <laughs> oh my! <laughs> oh, Tell me I'm wrong. It's one of those generic ones, you know, like how there's a Meyer brand. Oh and yeah, a there's a Meyer brand, brand and a right Kroger brand, and then it's like the CVS brand. It's like, oh, we're cheaper than your off store products. And it's it like with the sandpaper <laughs> condom. It's coarse. <laughs> I don't know if they <laughs> grade sand, nice but sand. <laughs> my, coarse. my company screwed me, and they they were not nice. <laughs> They use that. All right, Brian, what are, you, uh, what are you freaking, what are you geeking on, man? Uh, I am geeking about the Monster Hunter World Iceborne expansion. You won't shut up about it. I can't shut up about it because it You're has... So excited. Look at it. Uh, no, it... Y- what about it? Uh, <laughs> ah, nice. Yeah, nice. Giggity. The expansion the has brought it. a new form of life to Monster Hunter. For people that haven't played Monster Hunter on handheld versions, so when Monster Hunter first came out, it was usually on PSP, on DS. Mm -hmm. Now that they have it on console, because, you know, FPC, because PC doesn't get this expansion yet, this is a really big expansion. It's a lot of fun. They've changed a lot of things up. Uh, I've explained it to you multiple Mm -hmm. times, but it it really brings a new breath of life into the Monster Hunter games, and I can't stop playing it. It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, it's something we're going to bring bring to the channel. Oh yeah, we we will definitely bring to the channel. It's so much fun. fun. What mind blast? That is what I'm geeking about. What I am freaking about is two things. The government. Oh, a double twofer. Yeah, two for no. no. <laughs> Come on, it's a Not, podcast. Who gives a crap about the politics? Are you uh, kidding me? There's tons of political podcasts. The Humanist Report is one I listen to frequently. There's Chapo Trap House. Yeah, but the, Alex Jones beats them by secular like secular talk. Uh, Info Wars. I mean, <laughs> I was kidding. We're not that good. We I can am. be. I can't make the frogs gay. I keep kissing them, but they don't want to kiss me back. I know. It's like they have How an ex- rude. They have an <laughs> they selfish. have a tongue that it literally expands and retracts, but it doesn't want to do it to me. It's like, why the hell am I trying to make you a prince if you don't wanna, you know? <laughs> How am I gonna get? Bye. Don't how, kiss me back. Like, <laughs> how am I friends. gonna get this this frog extension if you don't want it? Oh my god. Anyways. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> You know what the problem is? I'm so fat. <laughs> what am I doing? In the group. What am I doing eating all this cake? Why am I all this cake if I don't get some frog dick? It's because I'm fat. <laughs> Thank you Doesn't for making it feel good to that. get it out now? It really does. See, we don't do this for a few weeks. It's it's just good. It really it, does. Anyways. I'm getting denied by frogs because I'm so fucking fat. Okay, so we still haven't gotten to the first freaking. What are you freaking about? Uh, I am freaking about the rooster teeth. Um, yeah. yeah. I'm freaking about should, that. Should we yeah. just segue into that? No, well, let, no. Let me finish and then we can, we'll, we'll go to that. So okay. my second freak okay. is... You know what? We'll, just, we'll, we'll stick to rooster teeth because we have a time limit. So my, I'm freaking about rooster teeth. I'm geeking about Monster Hunter. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I guess uh, let's just segue into that there. So uh, uh, news just broke that uh, uh, that Rooster Teeth. Yesterday. I'm sorry for all the bleeping you have to do for me. You know what? At this point right here, it's 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 just it's good, man. It's it's good. It's, 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 it's it's worth it, man. So Maybe. yeah, so um, so Warner Media's Rooster Teeth cuts 13 percent of the staff, so laid off about 50 people. Um, news broke of that yesterday in Austin. In Austin. In Austin. So, no like the guys in LA are 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 fine. Um, my, mind you, I, I was listening to the podcast a couple weeks ago, and they said they have like 400, 500 employees under kind of rooster teeth. Not anymore in LA, three hundred and fifty. Ah. <laughs> so, it's it's and, and a lot of people are really kind of torn by it. And I was reading some comments both on um, uh, both on their site, um, some of the personal like. Twitter, uh, you know, to personal tweets out, out the, of the people over here. The personal handles. Everyone seems really kind of um, 
torn up about it. Torn, and I, I think the best one that I heard was um, was was on um, uh, Matt's uh, Matt Holmes, uh, uh, I guess personal like from CEO to to, yeah. to everyone the, the release. And when you read it, you kind of go, "It's unfortunate." But we're doing good. Look at all the things we've got going on for us. They're like, look at all this stuff. We've got Genlock and Immersion, and we're on TV, and we've got HBO and all this other well, stuff. Well, Genlock is Disney XD. Is it Disney? Yeah, it is Disney yeah, XD. Yeah, Disney XD. But then Gen- everyone's sitting there and is like, well, if you're doing so well, why are you getting rid of people? So here's the thing. like, And that's what kind of brings it My, up. Mind you, I am a huge Rooster Teeth fan. Let me just get that out of the way. Like, I watch a lot of their stuff. Yeah. I do, so, right? And I'm a, I'm a huge fan. This so is, this is I can speak where, from a fan's point this of view. This is where the line gets drawn because you have Ruby, you have Genlock, you have all these, uh, and, you know, I, I don't use it, but I know there are some people that do. You have Rooster Teeth First, which is the sus- subscription service mm-hmm. where it's like hey you get if things you early watch, you get discount on merchandise yeah it's you like get, you get yeah. merch you get you help disc- support you help support them. you get yeah. early access to all these shows yeah. we have running a week before anyone else gets it it's like yep but this is where it gets weird it's like they just raised the subscription service they raised the price of it they yep. raised the price of this and then it's like so then you have it's like Oh, they're a sinking ship. They got too big, too fast. Well, hold on, hold on, real quick. Here's here's here here's here's what um, uh, Matt had had uh, had emailed. Um, end quote. Uh, Today has been a tough day at Rooster Teeth, and is unlike any other moment of organizational change we have experienced together. As we look ahead at all of our upcoming opportunities and challenges, we had to make some difficult decisions about how we are organized. So they're basically wording it as we're restructuring, yeah. so that we can. And this be- is a month after. The news article broke that they weren't paying their animators. I got to remember this. I, I, that news broke that they weren't paying their animators. So I, I looked into that a little bit too. So a lot of the times is they'll get people from like University of Texas because yeah. they are one of the biggest employers in Austin. Yeah. They oh, will that. bring people in and they said, well, look how little turnover rate we have. People enjoy staying in our company. Now, there's a little bit of fudging of the numbers because a lot of these guys are outside Cooking contracts. They say, hey, you agree to this length of time. We will fire you and then... You know, we can rehire you wherever there. So it's to help keep turnover down. It's to make their numbers look good. It, it, it is it is cooking a, your bucks to the it is literal a, T. It is a business. I understand that. And when you're also owned by Warner and you have a big mama mama pop up to to, to to talk to, you you gotta look good. Yeah. So that's <laughs> if you're gonna attract new sponsors and everything, you have to look good. Well, they're owned by a sub thing. No, no, they're, no, no. They're owned by they're oh, there was a what was it up? Full screen? Yeah, full it's screen. It's full screen and then Warner. But that yeah. was done by Warner. So this is where the line gets drawn with this whole thing. You have the people that are literally looking out, outside looking in. It's like they have no money. They ha- they just raised their subscription fee, for all, f- subscription fee for all of this, and they're doing this, they're doing this. It's like they got too big too fast. And then you have the business aspect of, they have no money, and they have to look good to Mama and Papa. But then when you release this post saying, look at all the things we've got going for us, like we've got the next season of Ruby coming out, Gen Lock has just released on cable television, which is, for Rooster Teeth, a big thing. It really draws that line of, how good are you doing? How good are you doing? But here's 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 some of the feedback that I've got from some of these people is a lot of people are saying, I thought you were different. Yeah. Like you weren't supposed to do this. You weren't supposed you, to do this. It's like you got the right money grabbing. Well, no, no, no. It was it was more of like you have the right people underneath you. You're the people are crunching. They're working really hard for you. You don't want to see people laid off right there. You treat them like you're family. Supposed to be different. You're different. You are you are this little uh little You literally bubble. have a con in Texas that's only about you. Yeah. Well, it, everyone's kind of saying that you're you're the odd one. You're the, you're 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 different compared to the rest of the you're industry. You're the one corporation who's not a corporation. I no, mean, no, as, no, of, no, as, no, of, they, now, as of now, as of now, has been broken. That illusion literally got crapped uh, uh, crapped upon because it's like people were like you, you. If you go online and just search Rooster Teeth on Twitter, you just see all these people always praising them and talking about how awesome they uh, love. Not anymore. You, you, well, not so anymore. So with. With this whole but thing this. with Ruby, yeah, before this, that was great. So Ruby has literally started what people have called the downfall of Rooster Teeth. 
because you had Ruby, this was their like huge success. Then Monty Ohm died, which was very, very terrible. And they continued they continued Ruby. They fire the voice actor that was for Crow. And then they up the subscription fee. And saying, well, if you don't support us, then why are you even doing this? And then the animator, the not paying their animators, which again, you said, oh, hey, we don't like turnover rates, but they're not paying their animators. And then it's just a domino. It's one right. domino, two domino. The domino pieces start falling. Yep, and that's then how dominoes work. Yeah, that's how dominoes work. And then it's like, we just laid off 13% of our workforce. And then it's like, Wow, so you aren't different. You and so, and I had to bring this up, and I don't mean to interrupt you. No, no, because I'm have kind to, of segueing. You to bring this that. up with the Funhouse podcast where they're basically saying bye to Bruce. And Bruce is literally saying, you guys should all take a sabbatical, take some time to really think if this is what you want to do. He was like, it worked for me, it'll work for you. And Rooster Teeth is at a good point. He said this less than a month ago. That they, Two weeks. Let, that they would let you do this. They would probably let you take a sabbatical. They, they're they're they doing didn't well let enough. Him, they didn't let him quit. Remember, Bruce they, went to Rooster Teeth and said, hey, I I'm th- going to quit. And then they said, well, why don't you take a sabbatical Don't and think about it, take some time. And then he's like, okay, I took it, and I'm, I'm still quitting. And that's where this whole thing started because but, you have people that love Funhouse. It's like, oh, my God, Bruce left a sinking ship. It's like, well, no, Bruce is the L.A. side of the company. Yeah, Funhouse is doing better than the rest of the company, basically. Well, here's remember, remember they're just they're just a small they're just a small cog in the machine that 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 is Rooster Teeth. Yeah. But I think I, I think for those guys in L.A., is they're using the channel as a platform for exposure, right. so they can really create financial wealth for them. They, they right. can they and can make exactly their own company. That's exactly what Ray did. Yeah. yeah. Before Rooster Teeth, no one knows who Ray Navarez Jr. Now was. Ray has a Twitch channel and he's making he thousands of dollars a day. Tens of thousands of dollars a week. He he makes. Remember, he, he, he got makes, Destiny two before anyone. He he makes an insane amount of money right here. So I can't fault for a guy. I'll, I'll use Bruce as an example. I can't I can't fault a guy that probably works his butt off right there. He's editing all the time. You know, he's he, he has deadlines to meet and all these kind of things right here. You know, it to him it kind of feels like a job when he just goes, hey, you know, I just want to create a community and have a good time and play video well, games and, he, and, and everything. He, said there. It and he was trying to do that, but he has priorities, and so now yeah. it kind of goes. Can I bring? He has off? a mama and papa saying, "Where, where, where is this?" But he goes. He goes. I feel that I can maybe have more value in my life by doing something that I enjoy right here. And now he can. He has the time that he can do collaborations with other people. He can go to events and things like that too. So, so I, I can't. I've been, fault I've been him for following that. that since he left. Every night he's got a new person streaming with him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's every it, single night he's got a different. So, person. so maybe of, maybe the way of just traditional YouTube is going away. Like yeah. just. Day in, day out the al- content. Yeah, the algorithm is always changing. I mean, they've kind of... Well, and that could segue into our next topic that I would like to talk about. Yeah, so uh, that's kind of where... We're, are we all good on that? I mean, you said so, so, nothing, but well, you... Well, let's finish it up, because Corey hasn't even said a, a single word well, yet. Look, He's you, taking it all in. I am taking it all Giggity. in. And, gra- and granted, like, here, here's the thing. I'm not as big of a fan of Rooster Teeth as you guys. I'm I only watch Funhouse, I'll I'm, be honest. I am not as big of a fan of Funhouse as you guys, so I don't know how much I could honestly contribute to this, but, you know, they're, they're a business. Rooster Teeth is a business. and every We're a business, business. We're a business. We're not at that level, though. But th- We don't have business. to worry about it as much. We only have ourselves we to ask. Well, now we got to fire one of you guys right there. Brian, and it was me. <laughs> You're right, because uh, I'm your boss. <laughs> um... Fair enough. <laughs> so it was nice talking. To you. Here, here's the. Here's Thank you for thing. the opportunity. You're welcome. Stop, you two. <laughs> here's the playing. thing. They are no different than any other corporation. No, they're not. But they there was an illusion no... that there was. Oh come on! You're, you're just lying to yourself. Then. Well, there was millions of people who were lying to themselves. Damn then. right there was. No, it, I'm. And you're right. I was with Corey. not anymore. You knew it. Well, when. When the illusion broke for me when after the third season of Ruby, they introduced Rooster Teeth first, mm. which was a s- Subscri- subscription service. Had the subscription base, then it's all about and it money. was well, and it was terrible. There were people, well, people literally were ev- really upset. Oh, yeah, they were really, it was really upset. terrible. Like 
why am I paying for this service and I can't even use it correctly? So that's when so it what broke was it doing? for me. Just like crashing all the time? Systematically. Well, and then like some videos wouldn't get released early enough, so they'd come like the same day as that video was supposed to come out. People just weren't feel they're getting value for so it. So basically you'd pay for something and it only why am sometimes I, why, works. Why yeah. am I paying ten dollars a month for something I get before everyone else and I can't use it? And now they've jumped it to I, I think it's like something like that. Fourteen ninety nine, some something like I that. Really but it's like attention that much. I, I'm but only... their entire site is broken. Like it's still broken. It's very broken. Well, and, and they're, they're like, Fun oh, House now we're... Ad- Funhouse admitted that during their comment thing. They're like, we need to check the Rooster Teeth website more often for comments because we never check it. Yeah, no. So that's kind of where and it is. That was just like an offhand thing where they were just like, ha we know the site sucks. We never check it. Sorry. Because they don't have to. They, they have their YouTube channel. They're, like I said last night in our group text, they are the the one. Them and Inside Gaming are the two hardest working parts of that whole yeah. company. Yeah, Alana, Elise, James, all of them. God, God love them. And yes, for everyone so wondering, it's, it's, it's six dollars a month. They're charged monthly. Uh, thirty two ninety nine charged every six months. Sixty dollars charged annually. Like what the hell? But I, I think I think say, the, I think the big thing is PlayStation uh, Plus. It's it, but it's the same thing of like, I can wait. I can wait a couple days until that video I can drops. wait seven exactly. days. Yeah. Exactly. I can wait seven days. It's like, why would I give you? It would be the same thing as if um, Team Four Star came to you and said, "Would you like to pay ten dollars extra a month?" No. And get DBZ abridged. Early? Nope. No. I, well, I'll wait. Uh, but because, but here's the thing. Here's because here, that's the thing you have to look at. Okay. Last point, and then we'll move on but to right here. Some people would. That's, yeah. Yes. That's, and, and, that, and that's and that's how the business works. So, uh, we've covered this when Star Wars Battlefront Two came out. Yeah. And we literally had a forty-five minute around the cauldron of wow. none of us would pay for loot boxes. None of us would pay for loot boxes. I have a fun little story about loot boxes. Oh, right don't you start. Oh, I, yes, I, already I, wa- I already watched that fucking stream. Oh, no, no, no. This is good news. This oh, okay. is good news. Okay. No, real, it's not. Real quick, and then we're going to move on to our next topic. Go. Well, that... we have to move on to our next YouTube topic. Okay. Well, real real quick, quick, let them do the loot box real, real quick. Yeah. Real quick. Do, um, it, do it. Go ahead. Yeah, for FIFA, yep. it's gotten banned in the United Kingdom. Loot boxes. So, it's a big deal. So they're going to have to completely restructure FIFA well, in, I'm for all, the British market. I'm not, I'm not Eng- opposed to that. England doing we're something not right in the UK. I know. But that's phenomenal. You know that's a phenomenal start. America. Yep. What an American not thing to do. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, six people have died from vape pens, and they're making laws to abolish it. Why? Uh, we're in America. Uh, abolish, ab- it. abolish, abolish it. Abolish it. I think abanishing is a what? spell. Yeah. Fuck you. I'm gonna abanish you. Oh, you're talking. We're talking about vaping now. No, oh. no, no, no. We're not talking about. He's just, I, he's just, just trying to. He's just like, trying to I know where you're point. coming from. The UK has abolished FIFA using loot boxes. Yes, this is it, America. Because it's yeah, technically gambling. This is Sir, America where... This don't catch a slip. I, can, I, I get what you're saying. Yeah. We're stupid here. Yes! I get what you're saying. There you I go. I can literally drive, drive 20 minutes and I have a casino. Look, the, what, the point I'm trying to get at is it's a good start because they're a terror on the gaming industry. It is. It, it's, 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 it's ruined it's games. It's the stain of the underpants that is the gaming industry. Yep. Uh, it's if, something that unites people. If we want to cover this, bad. that's another topic because that's bad. Later, different one. We'll do a different one. Okay. Different one. That okay. that's anyway, really bad. Uh, quick thing. Quick thing, because I'm not sure that anyone's really uh, caught on to this one. Mostly because we don't do toy reviews, but YouTube is screwing over people who do toy reviews. Uh, so what about that, that six year old kid that makes the most money? That's that's where this whole thing this started is, from. The United States passed a law that you can no longer target children for any of those things. So all of those channels target that, children for what? For like. Ads and things you can't ads, collect their data. You, taze, can't, you can't show toys, them all of it. Ads or anything. So now all of these YouTube channels, and there are thousands of. Oh them. yeah. So um, the one we like, who um, always does NPR toys. Yeah, and they are they uh gone. They, they they're not gone. Well, they're not they, gone. He but went like, on the thing. They're saying basically they have four minutes to restructure their entire channel because they're going to demonetize everything, get rid of their comments, and basically make them non-existent. That, that's kind of why I said gone. Like they have, they literally have a really small window to change their entire channel, or YouTube is gone. 
Basically, you're gone. If, uh, you if, don't exist. And this could, uh, well, it doesn't really apply to us because I was watching their thing and they were talking about it. But basically, if you're anything that is family friendly content, is now being targeted as demonetization. Period. Yeah. So yeah, the you're gone. they wanted like advertiser friendly content. Well, that was before that was the United States okay. government stepped in. Okay, so so um, well, the government so some the of these changes uh, include renaming stage names to make them feel less kid friendly warranted, cutting out popular series dedicated to toys or games, making up vlogging, spe- specifically shifting videos to target teens. Essentially, these changes retarget kids' content to a slightly older demographic that isn't covered by the 170 million dollar settlement with the FTC over alleged children's privacy law violations. So, due to the sell- settlement. YouTube will have to stop collecting data on videos that are targeted towards kids under the age of 12, and creators who make videos for children, such as unboxing toys or art lessons, will have to clearly label their content as being intended for kids. So for creators, this means any videos that you make for kids won't be eligible to run targeted ads, which they fear could dramatically reduce their revenue. That is insane. And to what Bruno was saying on that channel, he said... So if you even mention the word superhero, Gone. it could be demonetized Gone. immediately. Gone. You unbox a Iron Man statue. Gone. That's like four hundred dollars. You know, for a targeted adult audience. Yeah. Gone. So like when people went. So to if com- I say action, so if it's no. an action so, figure, that's not Comic Con. Big example. When someone went to Comic Con and they get their exclusives and they say, "Hey, here, this is what they all look like," hey, and I paid four hundred dollars. Look at for the this. Avengers Endgame of Captain America and Iron Man. Some kid YouTube. It's a superhero. Boom. He could watch it. So boom. we're demonetizing your video. But what? Why? 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 Why is this a thing? Why did they feel the need to step in and change this? The government didn't because no, there was a lawsuit. That's what I'm saying. No, because like, the, lo- the government is forcing YouTube to do this. Because but free they, will they're... is an illusion, man. <laughs> Calm down, nice. you're Pink Floyd. No, I'm not even. I'm not even Pink Floyding. I'm being very dead fucking serious right now. This is. This makes no sense. We focus. Our government focuses way too damn much on the wrong things. We got it. We got it. We went political. Alex Jones, did you just walk in here? What's going on? No, I no, tell go, you what. Go, wrong, wrong, he's going to be serious. Go be serious. We're, go we're ahead. focusing go. on the wrong things. Why do they care? Why do they care? Um, do a video for children. Why does it matter? It really doesn't matter. When we're Stop. Sit- I'm going to answer that question right now. What was the scare five months ago? I had AIDS. It's true. <laughs> no, no that, that, that's, a, that's an us thing, buddy. Oh, okay. Sword fight. <laughs> what, what was it? What was the parental scare that every parent had that was shared around all of Facebook? Oh, just all like, yeah, all the crazy Momo. weird. No. Yeah, no. Oh, Momo. Nah, that, was, that was such a small little blip. Momo, Momo was small in comparison to some of the other crazy stuff on YouTube. That was a- Okay. That's, so that's, that's a stepping stone. No, Momo, Momo is a small portion of the bigger thing that was these uh, AI-generated, um, clickbait, uh, perfect algorithm uh, tags and times and everything, too, that confuses Google's AI so that these videos can be watched and people make an insane amount of money. Well, They're basically computers tricking computers to make revenue. And, and to that point, Ryan's Toys. Yeah, Ryan's Toys. He has all of these targeted ads, not to mention, he. Ha- I didn't know he had his own... Um, he has his own uh, toy line. Oh, does yeah. he? Oh, so he's going to be fine. So he runs his own uh, ads no. on his own videos. And, he's ma- still- and, his par- and his parents make double, triple, quadruple the amount of money. So essentially, the big channels have ruined it for all the small ones. I apologize to the people that are watching this video. My wife is calling me. I'll be right back. Well, That's know, a big deal. Know, I just, I'm, in, I'm in trouble. You should be. I'm in trouble. Well, <laughs> right. if I can lift the freaking chair. Well, while Brian's in well, trouble. Well, you are sitting on it. Oh, boy. I'm good. Hey, drunkie, you okay, bud? <laughs> I'm glad we have that. If you're watching the video, that was perfect. <laughs> yeah, let's do it again. So, y- y- uh, you know why this aggravates me so much? You know why this aggravates me? Go. Yep, you're right. But, <laughs> you know. That was known. Fair but, enough. You know, we're, we're sitting here. They're, and they're forcing YouTube to stop doing children-friendly content. You can't make money off of doing that. Okay, well, YouTube wanted more family-friendly stuff. Okay, whatever. And we've always gone against the grain of that. And the Right. But True. The, but then the government stops, steps in and says, no, you can't do this anymore. It's just like, 
Why, why are you butting into an entertainment product? Shouldn't you be worrying about the fact that we're in eight goddamn wars right now? Nope. Is that what it is now? Eight? It's eight. It's eight. We're bombing eight countries. We're on the ground in Afghanistan, Syria, it, like Iraq still. We've been in Afghanistan for 18 years. There are adults who were... Who Not were, even around when 9-11 happened. Well, now they are. This is insane. This is insane. In we have in such in a warped sense of priorities in this country. Well. We are so warped. God forbid you show a boob on Facebook... But oh. <laughs> Or the chick that was on Twitch right there that showed a little bit of cooch right there, and then she got banned for like two days. I didn't hear about that. Oh, yeah, yeah. We'll she was get- playing with her dog, not wearing any like underwear, and it was like a little slip right there, and then just <laughs> people are going just berating her, and they, she gets good like banned. On, good yeah. on Twitch for not banning her for life. <laughs> Well, that's why I was surprised that she was going to be. I thought she for sure. All right, like, well, she had like a hundred thousand followers too. But like our, our priorities are so warped. You know, you can't you can't vape, but you can smoke cigarettes all you want. You can't. Excuse me, they're all natural tobacco products, right there. Okay, they're cleaner than those nasty vapes. Whatever. No, they still. Put <laughs> that's a real thing that people are pushing. They, they put four thousand chemicals in cigarettes on average. I don't uh, want to. I want take one stick and then they put a. 4,000 syringes the reason, in it. The reason those vapes are, are hurting, are getting people sick and killing people is because they're black market cartridges. Mm-hmm. That's it. It's plain and simple. The fact of the matter is, our priorities are so out of whack in this country. I Fair. Like, agree with you. Fair. I couldn't agree with you more. You know, we had, we had, uh, th- what was the discussion? La- I'm not going to talk about the debates last night, but you know, like, that that's that's going too political, but yeah, it's like, <laughs> Figure it out, man. You know, th- this is you're such the government. A stupid. <laughs> you're supposed to be the adults in the room. And now you're coming off like the children. <laughs> She's like, Wah. God damn it. I am running for Congress now. Uh, Jeez. Remember, remember, you're too liberal. You had a thing right, about the- Hasbro that I saw. Yeah, so actually, oh, this goes I'm perfect. So- so, triggered right now. So what has Hasbro done? So <laughs> this is just from the from the other week. So Hasbro acquired gangster rap label Death Row Records as part of a four billion dollar deal. Look at Hasbro uh, buying Hasbro. <laughs> Hasbro, Mr. Potato Head. They own Transformers so, and Power Rangers. So, now they own Death so Row. Hasbro announced a four billion dollar deal to buy British company Entertainment One, which produces oh, animated kids oh. shows such as Peppa Pig, That's PJ why. Masks. Okay, and they, but they happen also to own, own Death Row. the rap label. So Hasbro owns the rights to My Little Pony, Monopoly, and Mr. Potato Head. And, and um, the company said that they're looking forward to expanding, quote, family brands and television production with the purchase. How so, awesome is that? Basically, it's like eight people owning everything in the world. Um, well, yeah. well, it's always been that. I know, but they're just now they're it's it's an oligopoly essentially. It just oligarchy. It, it's well, always it's well with a, companies. It's a it's oligopoly. Uh, you're right. You're it's right, you're already right. always been that. So it's it's so what's going to happen to Death Row Records now? They're gone. Are they going to be gone now because of all the all them kids can't play with them uh, little toys? Well, let's be honest. When was the last thing that you cared about that came out of that company? Of Hasbro? No, no, no. Death Row. <sighs> Probably Tupac's greatest hits. Okay. I, I don't. And that I was don't the listen. '90s. <laughs> so, Is it? Oh my god! I don't listen to a lot of like, like gangster rap. I I just don't. Yeah. Like it's just not really my real. House. I just thought it was very fascinating. Oh though. yeah. No, it's certainly fascinating. But you're right. You know, it's a bunch, just few people owning everything in the world. So what else is new? Exactly. The rich get richer. Anyway. So speaking of all kinds of uh, crazy things, um, I'd love to talk about. So EA's uh, defense of Battlefront 2's um, Guinness World Record. What was that what was the that? most down? It was the most downvoted. Uh, well, let me let me let me let me get on downvoted here. Thing um, in, uh, so yeah, so uh, uh, so so Reddit user uh, Amsha spotted record in latest edition of Guinness World Records and shared a picture on the Star Wars subreddit. Um, I had basically said uh, it's more than six hundred thousand downvotes. Um, so if you look in there, it says most Dang. downvoted comment on Twitter. An official post by video game publisher EA responding to players' complaints about having to unlock characters such as Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker in Star Wars Battlefront 2 in 2017 through, quote, loot boxes has 683,000 683, downvotes. Good. We're now having records, and we're now publicizing it and showing it out to the world saying how awful this is. Good. Good. I'm glad. Loot boxes are are cancer upon the gaming industry. Oh my god, dude, did you see the freaking um, NBA? NBA 2K? Dude, 
Grab the grab that and pull, pull that yeah, up there. It's a literal casino. Yeah, it's a literal casino. Let me, let me, let that's me. why it's that's why England is banning that kind of stuff. Let, let me just bring in, teaching kids. Let me just gamble. bring it back to Battlefront Two real quick. Mm-hmm. I've played it since then. Okay, we went through and tediously reworked that entire game mm-hmm. so that it works the way it should have been when it when it launched two Damage years ago. Damage was done, man. Um, it's fixed. It works fine now. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, but it does. no one's gonna play it because well, there's, that's, that's, there's so much stuff out there now. That's the weird thing. That so, if you have a bad launch, you can forget about it. Well, that's the weird thing. So they've gone back and fixed so much stuff and gotten so much better press with it that mm-hmm. there are now more people playing it now than when it first launched. That's good that people are actually coming back. They got because usually back. when they're usually when they're gone, they're gone. They're they, never they coming back. They got it back because they went through and tediously fixed all of the things that everyone was mad about. Sounds like No Man's Sky to me. And to it's and, exactly like a No Man's Sky. And to their and to their. Effort, I actually watched a little bit of gameplay not too long ago. It's like actually pretty is it cool. Actually, a video I, game. Now? Yeah, it's actually yeah. a video game now. And I, wow. I actually played it uh, earlier this week. What No Man's Sky? No, no, no. Battlefront. Oh, 2. Battlefront Two. Okay. They uh, they actually added in. Uh, an entire division of clones. You can basically choose whatever armor set you want. Sorry, I Pink. Hit the mic. And uh, they had Jordicas now. Hmm. Full Joy shields Dicas. and everything. They're a little hard to use, especially when you're rolling. A lot of people falling off the cliff. Wee. Kind of funny. <laughs> but uh, it's basically fixed. They added a billion heroes to the game now. So. I mean, it's a lot more fun to play. Isn't that what they're always going to do? And uh, just keep expanding I, the universe why, why and adding more people just, to. Why not just? Do it at the beginning. Because so, EA so, told all of the people who, the three different companies who were working on that and said, so, this is what we're going to push. I don't care what you want to do. Well, similar to like the business model that I guess we were talking about uh, previously right here, that it is now okay to give out, or not give out, sell a three-quarter completed game and then just roll out more content. Yeah, or fix it because post. Because why make yeah. why make sixty bucks off of someone when you can make a hundred bucks off of someone or one hundred and twenty or one hundred and forty and especially too it's like listen we're trying to build a community so I was reading stuff about like I Anthem build a community it, it was it's exactly like Let's how it is in the Anthem community. right there of saying of like you know what um, you know here's the game here's the game right over here we understand we've gotten your feedback and we're slowly working out and they know well ahead listen we're not going to get everything in this game but we get it launched people buy it. We can just have a skeleton crew that will just slowly bring out the updates because it's easier to roll those updates out yeah. than it is to build a game from scratch. Corey, I feel like you had something that you wanted to talk about, and then I have what I believe is going to be the topic that will uh, clear this out. What I wanted to talk about? Or did you? Or Are we talking about Orwellian Alabama football? Yeah, you might as well do that, and then <laughs> I'll, I'll but end. Brian's not here. I'll end Me. the podcast with K-pop news because there's a lot going on. Ooh, Ooh. I like that A little yeah. teaser okay, right there. So, yeah. um, um, while I look up the Alabama uh, Crimson Tide, the Alabama Crimson Tide, you know, biggest football program in the country, next know, to the Ohio State uh, University. I'll let no, you know, biggest football program in the country, biggest, baddest, you know. They're consistently the winners, for those of you who do not know. I know you guys don't tune in here to listen about sports or politics, but that's kind of just the way the cookie crumbled today. Mm. Um, I hope it's snickerdoodle. Me too. I love, dude, I love me a good snickerdoodle. Um, it's almost so, seasonable to, for it. So Alabama released an app for their students. It tr- it uh, it keeps track of them in a, in a way that lets them unlock Opportunities for more important tickets. It's a to reward games. thing. It's a kind of a reward loyalty. Thing. So we basically, want, we want if reward you. you. You're already a loyal because you go to the school. So it's you're more are, of a rewards well, program. I mean, you're paying them for it. So, so yeah. basically, you if you do well in school, you get some points towards this, towards like tickets to say like the Southeastern Conference Championship game, or maybe even the college football playoffs. That sounds great. Sounds great. National championship. Yeah. Um, you could, but. It gets a little wonky, like after that, because they also give you rewards for going to the games, and then staying for the whole games. Well, if you're Alabama, Alabama beats the hell out of a lot of teams. As much as I hate it, they beat the hell out of a lot of teams. So you're not staying for a whole game when you're beat playing Chattanooga, and it's yeah, eighty-two enough. to nothing. <laughs> right? Like, why would you want to stay? That's boring. Even as a get the third strings out there, who even as and I a, can't wait for that fourth string quarterback to up oh, and that's a touchdown. He, he didn't yeah. even walk. Even as a diehard Ohio State fan, when we beat Cincinnati forty-two nothing last weekend, I mm-hmm. stayed the whole game. 
I bet you did because of Kyle. <laughs> yep, because he was like, we're staying for Carmen, Ohio, damn it, and I'm not leaving until I hear it. And I was like, well, fair right. enough. Guess fair I'm enough. Here. It's a blowout, but I'm still here. But, you know, it it gives you points for going to the game. It gives you points for staying at the game. But by agreeing to it, it tracks your every movement in the stadium. That is like literally such invasion of GPS privacy. GPS tracks unbelievable. your movements in the stadium. To make and sure, sure you're do- staying. And I'm sure it doesn't work if you don't have the GPS on, and then you don't get your points. Yep. That is the most Orwellian shit I've ever heard. <laughs> yeah. It's funny because we, we're in this day and age where we start oh, talking Brian's about back. invasion of privacy. Brian's coming back. All right, so so let's let's recap real quick for uh, for B. Rizzle here. Oh, I'm glad that he's I'm in back. trouble. I'm sure you are. So uh, basically, Alabama... For their students, released an app related to their football program oh, that yeah. tracks students. Yep. And okay, so you know about it. Oh yeah. Cool. So yeah, Orwellian stuff. Yeah. 1984. If you haven't read the book, read it because this is literally out of the book. Okay. It sounds it, like it, something. But it doesn't. Would it do. doesn't. Su- hey, that was my joke from earlier. It, uh, but it does, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but that's because China does do that. We're 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 adopting. We're 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 incentivizing people. But by doing this, you're just quantifying progress. That's all you're doing. You're saying, we had 100,000 people at the previous game. We have 105,000 now. Look at all the ticket sales. You're, you're validating, introducing things that validate your job, basically. Yeah. If, you're, if, you're, if you're an athletic director, validate okay, your business. you need to validate your position pretty good right here. You can't just be stagnant right there. Because guess what? That, that alumni that spent $50,000. Gene Smith. Yeah. I don't like Gene Smith. It's like you get, you get the guy that spends fifty thousand dollars every year and everything, you know, on He's the a, organization. He wants to see bang for his buck. Yeah. Now, granted, what when you're winning national championships, you're feeling pretty good right there. But you know, you you want to see quantifiable change. Okay. Yeah. So they need to just think. They're so thinking I'm going to use a real ways. life scenario. And oh boy. if my sister is watching this, she's probably not. Thank God, because if she ever does find it, I'm going to get my uh, rear chewed out. Oh. See, look, I'm That's watching cool. the I language. I love those kind of stories. So she's a principal. <laughs> she's a principal yep. for a private school in a Midwestern state. Okay. okay, fair enough. There you go. That's just general enough. It's good. You're ge- it's general enough. So a certain person has donated millions of dollars mm-hmm. to build a new stadium. Right. Mm-hmm. Buy uniforms. Mm-hmm. Right. And then complain saying... Well, why don't we have an elevator for, and this is a high school, by the way, Mm -hmm. and saying, why don't we have an elevator to use an elevator for the people that want to sit in the boxes? Donate a lot of money. Doesn't that have to follow disability regulations? Yes. Okay, fair enough. They're doing something legal. Got it. Anyway. So when we go into these... Alabama thing, this doesn't surprise me in the least because this is literally someone saying, why don't we have this? Why, I, cool why, story, bro. Why aren't we doing this? <laughs> well, no, why aren't we doing this? Because it's one of those things. It's like, yeah, like, what in the actual hell? The thing is, it's just such an invasion of privacy, though. It's like they know where your exact movements are at all times. At we literally time. use an app. Email, like, we Jimmy, you, why did you leave we the We literally game, use right? an app. Yeah. Every single person in the United States is using an app called Facebook where if I Google search tabletop gaming That tables, ad will show up two seconds later on your Facebook feed. It's not even Facebook. It's everywhere. If I go on Instagram... It's there because, oh, wait, he owns Instagram. Really? Like, I'm I'm totally with you. Yes, that's invasion of privacy, but we've given that up. Already. We've given we, that we've up. Gi- well, we've given up the convenience of things, and, and okay. it's, it's all about data collecting and how can I sell you a better product. Well, that's the thing is. And guess what? Know, Their football program is a product. I'm not. I'm not saying it's not a product. My, Nick Saban my, used to coach the Browns. Just playing that out there. It's okay. He's never been a good pro coach. He would. He's. It wouldn't have worked out for you anyway. No, it wouldn't have. But we had Bill Belichick too. That would have worked out for you. <laughs> um, he just didn't want the job. <laughs> here's here's he the smart. point I'm trying to make. The point is, is that you know they're selling this as like it's like oh you know we're we're incentivizing the students to do well in school. 
Not really. You're more incentivized. You're not only taking their privacy, you're incentivizing them more to go to the goddamn football game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because, so when does their time out because, at the football because game? Because... Because Nick Saban is constantly complaining about how there's not enough students at the games. I'm sorry, college football tickets, season tickets are expensive. And they those are. college kids are already broke. Yeah. So, so make make them, my question loans. is, when do you think OSU starts it? Five years, if that. You think that long? Probably. It took I would think this it was long it. to get Wi-Fi. That's fair. That's fair. I was I was joking about that when I saw that there was Wi-Fi right there. It's like it's so convenient now for me to steal everyone's private information. It only took two years to get. Beer. I got to the, yeah. I went. I got to the shoe. Well, that and was, I was, that like, was a Wait, Big Ten thing. Shoe is yeah. Wi-Fi. Yeah, this is weird. All right, so should we move on to our final topic? Yes. So, so, so but, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm I, I'm sorry. I was gone for ten minutes because I'm. I guess I'm, I'm in just trouble. surprised that of all places it happens in Alabama. Really though, they are the biggest. Like, they could no. probably afford those. No. Yeah. no, like my point is, it happened in Alabama. The there's like don't the Bible upon be, me. the Bible Belt of don't trend well, on me. Uh, yeah. When you when no, you I see what Corey's saying. Introduce a lot of money to the Bible Belt, they'll do anything. You're right. That is actually because that, Jesus. That, that is actually hundred yeah. percent because right. Jesus. Anyway, do you, do you think they support Popeyes or Chick Fil A? Oh, Chick- definitely Chick-fil-A. Chick-fil-A. Oh, that's Chick-fil-A. right, because Nick Saban was on the uh, Chick-fil-A commercial. Yeah, Listen, right. Lord's that's, Chicken. That's, yeah, God's Chicken right there. Well, God's Chicken isn't very good. Just throwing that God's out there. God's Chicken is disgusting. Corey and I had, I had it once, and I was, day. Yeah, I was we, like... We left filming at your place, and we were just... We went, and we are like, I don't see the <laughs> hype, man. <laughs> I had this, and I was like, tastes like any other chicken figure I had anywhere else. <laughs> I don't know. I... I I'll take Popeyes. Popeyes is better. I'll take Kane. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, last, you know what? You're, you're actually no, right. I have had Popeyes s- multiple times, right? separate places in different states, awful every single time. I don't care what you say. Okay. I think so it's Kane's? overrated. It's over. What's that? So Kane's then. Kane's has been pretty consistent. Hot chicken takeover. Oh, I love that place so much. Well, I've never had, had it. It's consistent because most of the I know there's one right down the road, but I've never had it. Get it. Yeah. Get the Put chicken. it in your mouth hole. Exactly. Put the spicy okay. chicken in I your mean, mouth hole. I mean, it's not that hard when shoot. most of your employees are out of out of prison inmates. Well, you know. Hey, they have to have jobs too. Man. No, and you know what? And I'm that that's kind of where just I, their stick. I that's I don't know. no, that's where I kind of like hot chicken takeover is like we if you're going to work for us, work. Yeah. We, we don't care just about do your, your path. Yeah, do do your job. Here's what you need to do. And it's like not that hard. Not gonna Breaking lie, chicken. I had to compete with Hot Chicken Takeover over my cheesesteaks. I'm like, I'm going to lose. Spicy mm. chicken. That's all you need to know. Actual spicy chicken. It's Not true. that so Chick fil A. Oh, it's spicy chicken. No, no, no. This Hot is literally be pepper. Like, Hi, would you like. Uh, no, this chicken can Would you like flaming? Yeah, I'll just beat you up real quick. And Hell yeah. There's your chicken. All no, right. That, I, I won't even all eat right. the holy one. Last topic. Like, Here no we go. Way. Okay. We have nine minutes. K-pop news. We have as many mim- minutes as I goddamn damn well please. Exactly. God, okay. You just love editing, don't you? you really I'm don't. not even going to edit this one right here He's because I love you that much. Wow. Look Thank at you. That. Anyway. <laughs> I can't wait to see this on the YouTube where I literally fall into the fucking the <laughs> curtains. <laughs> it's pretty great. Can I edit that part right there? Go can I put? It. Can I put the... Do- <laughs> <laughs> You're the one editing. <laughs> <laughs> You're the one doing the video. You do yep. whatever you want. Hell yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Anyway. Uh, K-pop news. A couple of things going on real quick. Uh, it was announced late last week. Amber's leaving SM Entertainment. Oh, really? She, she decided to not re-sign her contract. Now, on top of that, uh, this week she announced that she already signed with a new company called uh, Steel Wool Entertainment. Yes, like actual Steel Wool. Yeah, Steel Wool. But they're an entertainment company. What would not actually be Steel Wool? I don't know. You've never been in a kitchen before, have you? I know what steel wool is, but he yeah. said actually steel wool. So I'm just curious what confused someone else when they hear steel wool. I don't know. Anyways, go it's ahead. just spelled as you maybe you think it's like Mr. Steel, your girl. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so You're she already signed you. a thing. On top of that, she already has an EP ready to go. What? So, so this was planned. It sounds like uh, she had something she wanted to do that wasn't getting done over and at SM, and so, so she, she just took, took it to it her, her other company. Hands. Now. More news on top of that. It was also announced by SM er, late last week at the same the same day that on top of Amber not resigning, Luna has also not resigned oh, as of yikes. right now. So essentially, Whoa, dude. essentially the K-pop community was like, so FX is done because two of the members just quit and you can't have a group that's only two people. 
yes, we know TVXQ did that, but I doubt the other two people who they're, are they're, allowed, they're that, the that, they're the odd ones out. That, they're yeah, the odd ones out that's... because they're the ones that are currently so busy doing um, TVs and movie. That they, Listen, that, man. That they can't even <sighs> like get together to, to do, do music. music. Yeah. So, th- that's those are the two big things. Yes, people are saying, well, of course she left. SM is terrible at promoting their uh, the people that they already have, and this is very true. Uh, we know that it, well, it's been last- consistent for the past three years. More than that, man. <laughs> when the when the when Girls well, I'm, Generation I'm, had that thing, I'm I'm when kind of going last, with how long mm-hmm. we've been doing this. When they had their last music video. Um, it was they, not promoted. We literally they, they had to... They didn't promote it at all, and they didn't even let them go on any music shows and do live performances of it. They didn't promote it at all. So this has been... <laughs> Sounds like the chickens are coming home to roost. Yeah, today. this Pretty is... Sure it's hot chicken takeover no, or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> this is something that's been building for a while, and now it's finally starting it's to happen. The fan. It, it, it And crap is hitting the fan, because it's like, this is been a thing for years six years at least maybe more than that, that it might have been I, 10 we've years been, yeah we've been doing this on. for three so I, yeah. i'm gonna I, i'm kind of like doubling up how long we've been doing it yeah this yep. is something that's this been going on for three. six years they've been <laughs> under acknowledging all of their people just saying hey this person has new music instead of just like oh yeah here's the video that we didn't even tell you about have fun so now that the roosters have come home to cook. The crap has hit the fan. Th- this and they're also you can tell that they're having issues because they're getting ready to launch another boy group with members from NCT. Yeah, Super Junior and yep. XO. Yep, yep. So what? Th- all into one group. Yeah, all in one. What's it called? Super M. Super. M. That's a little underwhelming of a name. Yeah, exactly. I'm very well. This is the. Oh, well, somebody so be something cool. This is going to blow. Or no, up. I'm sorry, not not Super Junior, Shiny. Oh, okay, okay, okay. This is going to blow up, in and everyone's the- like, "Why are you doing this instead of actually promoting the groups you already have?" Because that's all they care about. Is it's they, they want the newer, they want the it's, newer thing, the newer just, iPhone. You want the new, new, it's new, just new, the new thing. It costs more money to grow the band that you already have. It's cheaper to get. Get people excited for a new hey, band. You two, you two, you two. You're now a group. Now we're gonna promote you. They own. They they own you. Yeah. yeah. So, um, last little bit of information, and this one is uh, slightly exciting, but I have to stress uh, unconfirmed at this point in time. So, as we all know, we already covered Magnetic Moon by Tiffany. Yes. And mm-hmm. she's currently on tour all over the world. Yeah. Currently in Korea. So someone was asking her. Uh, not about what she thought about SM, but just what she thought about the entertainment industry. And somebody blatantly asked her, like, would you ever start an entertainment company? Oh, boy. Oh, yes. Oh, boy. Oh, yes. And so she said, I've actually been thinking about it. To which the next thing that I saw after that was a crap ton of people saying, sign every member of a girl's generation. We're, we support We're you back. the whole way. We're back. That would be fantastic. That would be pretty. Oof, boy, that's ballsy. Okay, but, but it'd be it, crazy. Okay, but that'd be ballsy. Thing. Could they? Could they go back and do the the older songs? So they can't be. So girl, here's what here's what I here's it. what I understand. You can't be girls' generation. You, you would have to, generation of girls is what you call yourself. Yeah, generation of girls. You can't go back and do your old stuff because unless that, you sue for the rights. You'd have you'd have you'd have to go after the rights of the, of the songs. Which weirdly enough, I mean, when they th- might win that, which. Uh, Saya won that battle against yeah. YG. YG just handed it over to him when he left, and they didn't even yeah, say they, anything. Yeah, they, 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 realized, they didn't put up a fight or anything? They didn't put up no. a fight because they realized it was like, uh, Saya's the biggest thing in K-pop. That's the only thing I can think uh, of, I guess. The courts the are going to rule it. In size favor, yeah. They, and so when he left... And boy, they, when he comes in with those sunglasses, I'll tell you what. <laughs> he's just ready to do his business. <laughs> so he just opened he Gungam styled them. Yeah. <laughs> So he left Boo. and started his own company. <laughs> yeah, so bad. And uh, obviously, we know that he so signed. I don't he signed think... Jesse. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think he signed Kiana. Way. And then all of them, weirdly enough, have been. They just finished up their summer tour all over Seoul. Mm-hmm. Well, basically at the Olympic Stadium. Just yeah. Every weekend, there's a new concert going on. It's looks like dope. a lot of fun. But all of those people have been practicing and doing all of the old songs that they had at the all of their own hmm. entertainment companies. So they had. So it's possible you can get the rights to your own stuff and go back and it's, do it. It's it 
it's if they want to fight it. If they don't fight it, then yeah, we get girls generation. I mean, if Mimsy can leave and then go and perform twenty one songs and not get sued about it. Good point. I, it's possible. It's very it we'll put it in the highly likely category. Like this can happen. This could happen. Like we but can, it's all dependent on whether Tiffany wants to do it. I think she knows the demands there. She knows the demands there. They know the members want to do it. It's whether the members have the gall enough to say, "Okay, yeah, we're we're just gonna leave." Do it. Well, without it, there is no girls' generation. They just keep doing their own things. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I think it's a few. Wor- we are a few words away that we get it back. It's. I well, can, I mean, I can start this. I can do this. I can do this. Believe in me, and we will take this off. And because they all. I, I truly believe they all know if they all get back together, we we will jump on it. Everyone in the planet will jump on it because we've missed them. Well. But I think a little bit kind of stems to does everybody want to bring Girls Generation back? Does all the members yes. want to bring it back? Well, well that's another issue. I think yeah, that's that, another thing is that so some, you, you, you only have that identity. Fan, yeah, we're taking the fan perspective. Yeah. The group... We don't know how they feel. Well, they've I mean, talked about still it recently. Eight members, though. That's there, the thing. There's there still, is still eight members that have to even all though, agree. Even though three of them left the company and still said, "Yeah, we're, I'm still going to be a member of this band." You're halfway there. I'm good at math. So if you just fourth away, if there. you get the other five to leave and say, "Yeah, we're still," because as far as I know, they're all still committed to doing this. Then they've we, all said, "We'll do it. We're ready to go." I mean, it's it, regardless. It sounds like there's a lot of ifs. Yeah. But there, if 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 you get, I, I think the big, I think the, I think the big thing is if if you can get the financial backing of it right there, you could pretty much make anything happen. Yeah, if there's a GoFundMe for a person going into a hospital, why can't they make a GoFundMe for? Hey, do you think we should do this? And people will throw their money. We literally got some. We literally. If got we a, can throw money at Star Citizen right there to make it the biggest gaming thing, I wasn't, I wasn't gonna probably, go there because that's a literal. <laughs> A what is it like? Fire? It was like a hundred and seventy million dollars. Yeah, I, like I wasn't going go there. I was going. I was going to go with like you know something that you and I do. It's like if a bunch of nerdy ass voice actors playing D and D can ask, oh, we only need seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars to make an animated series of this campaign, and they make twelve million dollars. I'm pretty sure they can say. Hey, do you super easy, barely made B- super you, easy, barely. Hey, we're gonna bring your favorite girl group back. Uh we just need a little bit of help getting the company started. Bam, fund it overnight. <laughs> but sometimes those people great. have like identity contracts and like, you know, personality like like you yeah. you, well, you yeah. as a person, you do not own your persona. So exactly. I mean who I knows? I don't own what, that I'm an asshole. That's just kind of what I am on this. <laughs> you channel. get that for free. I get that for free. <laughs> That's a little sprinkle on top. So it's just a thing to think about, but we need to hurry up and end this because we're going long again. Oh, well, we always go long. Uh, and hard. Uh, so, well, everyone, what? Yeah, you slap me. Yeah, uh, play a little, 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 a little, uh, a little slap and pickle. Yeah. Um, well, everyone, thank you for watching and uh, listening to the podcast. Uh, like I said, we, we always have fun doing these right here. And I'm sorry I had to leave for 20 minutes because apparently I'm in trouble. And that was probably the best 20 minutes we had in this entire podcast. <laughs> I bet because so, I wasn't here. Fair. That was the joke. So. I know. I picked um, up on everyone, it. just uh, if you could do us a huge favor and uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to our, our YouTube channel, Cauldron the Weird. And yeah, uh, why not? While you're out there too, and you're listening to this podcast, why don't you subscribe to the podcast? Um, you can listen to all of our content. We're going to be a little more diligent in making sure these uh, uploads are more on schedule. And, what's that? Sponsor. And we definitely got to forget our sponsor right there. We will never forget them. You know why? Because we're always listening. And you know how we're listening with our ear holes. And because of our ear holes, eargasm. <laughs> So, we're sponsored by Eargasm Earplugs. Um, It'll also help you uh, tune out the sound of our voices because we are cringy as hell. Well, they could just turn it off for free. (laughs) (laughs) Tell them that. Don't tell them that. That was the secret, Tyler. We got to charge them to get to. to, 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 You got to watch an ad to exit out. Tyler said the quiet. Oh, my God, that's brilliant. Why don't we start doing that? Tyler said the quiet part loud. But speaking of things that are quiet, sounds when you're using Eargasm Earplugs. Drops the decibel rating down about 21 to 25. Wait, don't touch them. I know. They're on my keys. Right yeah. there. They're on my keys. I have weird I, ears. Will they fit in there pretty good? Yes. Actually, they, ha- they come if in If there's a hole, they can fit. They come in multiple sizes, so you can find the... But Chris has the, special ears. <laughs> listen. Listen with your special ears. My, my brand. brand. 
Eargasm, <laughs> my brand. Oh, that's great. But yes, they come in two different sizes so that you can find the right fit for you. They're fantastic. I use them all the time at concerts. He I does. love them. Because I'm always going to concerts. All right. Is that it? Links in the description. There we go. Um, so we've fun. also got the merchandise store. Uh, we've got the gaming channel. I'm going to put all kinds of goodies in that uh, in that description. So gaming, cha- gaming channel as as we record this is getting revamped. It will be back soon. Soonish. Yeah, we're we're gonna go soon. We're hoping that we can have more time to do all kinds of good fun stuff right here. So that's that's on us in our personal lives. Um, so just just crap on us when it doesn't happen we're and gonna have to really, make us we're, feel like crap. We're going to have to really push the uh, the patron stuff right here because, uh, you know, having that disposable that income need, to yeah, make that all kinds of things. Yeah, that needs to be reworked too, so. Yeah. We'll just, uh, I think we need to do a calendar just like they did for Rooster Teeth. Speaking of Rooster Teeth, you know, like the Gus calendar, the naked one by the fire, you know, the holidays are going to be coming up, so. Oh, like the Bruce Green calendar. <laughs> are they all <laughs> farting? Yes. Yes. Fantastic. Twelve farts of Christmas. So we just combined. <laughs> so we just combined Bruce Green, Jacob from Bro Job. Right. I'm liking it so far. Okay. And, and also Jacob from Fun House. <laughs> oh my! Okay, yeah, Smith we've got and, right. and John Smith, and then we've got a fireplace, and we're gold. We're golden. Yeah, that's a lot of thick boys in one we, calendar, we, right? A lot of thick no, boys and one get, innocent we one. We have to get Andrew involved, the thickest boy. Yeah, <laughs> Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, I can't CJ forget about from you. CJ from Thy Art is Murder, he is the purest strain of cake. <laughs> <laughs> is it yellow cake? This <laughs> yellow cake uranium. This beautiful Aussie cake. Ooh. This has been a lot of fun, everyone. <laughs> The cake from down under. Welcome to episode six. Don't <laughs> worry. The There's plenty under. more cringe to come. So, uh, yeah, cringe to come. That's uh, that's what I shout every <laughs> night. So, <laughs> cringe to come! Uh, thanks, everyone. And we will definitely see you on the next uh, the next podcast. Uh, and then watch our video content. We've been putting out some, some new stuff. And uh, I think we had a good little session going on today, too, which was a lot of fun. Yeah, it's only been like a month. Nah, when you say it like that, I feel bad. Well, yeah, I've been we gone for a month. We have lives. So, it's just part of the deal. Yep. We have lives, we just hate them. Yeah. Fair enough. So make this our li- <laughs> make this our life. That way we can hate it and love it at the same time. Oh, I hate it, but I make so much money. <laughs> Dream big, Tyler. That's the goal. <laughs> God, this can- sucks, but all this money. <laughs> Guys, can you believe that Lamborghini I got they didn't have in red? What an what, what You see that big pile of money over there? That's, That's mine. mine. That's I want you don't get money. that money. <laughs> All right. I just want to buy a machine, like a money gun. That's all I want. Even if it's all like, $1 bills, I want like, to have the, the money that I can just... Like du- okay. um, that's easy. DuckTales? Like that? the DuckTales gun? What's the DuckTales gun? Now I'm intrigued. Brian what? over here just went to Scrooge McDuck Pit. Uh, well, I mean, no, yeah. no, because it's not a liquid. Well, they it's said a if you jump into a pile solid. Of Didn't Matt Pat many- also do a video Sports. about that? Yes, think, and yeah, you, okay. break your, you literally you'll, you'll break your face. Yeah. Break everything. But there's the Scrooge McDuck that it's literally you just throw coins in it and you can make it ring instead of dollar oh my, bills. That's <laughs> oh my god, that so sounds hurtful. awful. Well, <laughs> make it hail. I, I'm sorry, make it hail. <laughs> Damn it, you Listen, beat me. Listen, dream big, buddy. Dream big. Dream big. We'll see everyone next time. Bye. Later. Bye. Guys. Bye.